tabs. We all use them, although maybe a bit reluctantly. But have you ever noticed on Wayland that when you drag a tab out of a window, it behaves a little bit weirdly. The most noticeable place is in your browser. Now, you can absolutely drag a tab out of the window. Let's say this tab here, it's out of the window. And then I can drag it back and it works just fine. The core functionality of doing that action is there. But it's not there like it should be. If you've experienced using Windows, you might know what I'm talking about. This is what's supposed to happen. So here we have a browser with two tabs inside of it. And when the user drags the tab out of the window, it's a very subtle difference. But instead of just doing what happened over here, where I grab it and it just appears, instead what happens is it's attached to your cursor until you decide to drop it. On a Tyler, this doesn't really matter, but if you're using a floating environment like this, being able to drag the window and actually see the size of the window makes it so much easier to align where those windows are going to be placed. Now Firefox does have a hack sort of work around it. When you drag a tab, it shows you the little thumbnail preview. It gives you an indication of what is inside the tab, so it's better than nothing, but being able to do this and actually see the entire window would be kind of nice. Now, this isn't a fundamental requirement to making the tabs actually work, but it's one of those rough corners that would be nice if it could be resolved. And the Wayland devs think so too, and that's why this is actually being fixed. Add XDG top level drag protocol. Now, as is often the case in Wayland land, usually the first protocol isn't the protocol that gets merged. And in this case, it's absolutely no different. Three years ago, introduce extended drag protocol. As you could probably tell from the demo we had over here, this is work originating out of the Chromium project. Native Wayland support is being implemented in the Chromium browser, and one of the last major missing features is tab slash window dragging. After some research and experimentation, the conclusion is that the Wayland protocol needs to be extended to enable Chromium's full tab dragging experience to be properly implemented. Further details on such study can be found in the design document. Now, whilst this is coming out of the Chromium project, this doesn't just apply to them. Firefox could make use of this. There are applications like GIMP and Caden Live and OBS, which all have, you know, dockable windows. All of these are cases where this could be used as well. Now, unlike many protocols, this protocol wasn't just being discussed. This protocol currently has a working implementation that should be landing soon in Chrome OS's Exo Wayland Compositor. The first patch has already landed and others are under review, and a client using it, that being the Chromium browser, and we plan to get it implemented in another major open source compositor soon. Not yet decided which one exactly. This is going to be a key part to the story. Now, at the time, there were already some demo videos, and I didn't touch on this earlier, but being able to drag a tab like a window lets you do something else really, really cool. So let's say, for example, that your desktop were to have some window snapping. So we jump ahead to here. You can actually snap the tab in the dragging process. Once again, it's a very subtle thing and you can work around this in other ways, but being able to do this seamlessly like you can on Windows would be nice. The motivation for this standardization effort besides enabling Chromium to provide its complete UX in Linux desktop environment supporting Wayland is to make it usable by other potential use cases in the community aiming to support such rich UI features. For example, Firefox, Kdenlive, GIMP, so on and so forth. Now, the issue is there wasn't really that much interest in doing this at the time. So the guy who made this, Nick, asked, hey, could somebody have a review of this? And there was a bit of discussion, like very, very little discussion. I mean, like, hey, here's some things you can change about the protocol. Here's some things that you should be improving. Yeah, there's a spelling mistake here, things of that nature. And there was one guy from Firefox who said, hey, this sounds quite desirable for Firefox as well, and the approach sounds reasonable to me on a first look. And then some more time passed, and they were going to go and work on a Mutter implementation. 
And then a whole year passed, and we have a comment from Neil Gomper, who is everywhere, all the time, all at once. Could anyone take a look at this? It would be great to have this resolved, because it also helps with applications that have mode switching between MDI and SDI type views by dragging to dock slash undock panels, tagging Simon Sir from WL Roots, David Edmondson from KDE, and Jonas from Gnome. Nick commented again, This is actually pending on more implementations to get fully reviewed slash considered. If I remember correctly, at least two or more composite implementations are required, we were planning to initially implement it on Sway slash WL Root and Western or Mutter, but unfortunately haven't had time to work on it lately, and there's no timeline for it at the moment. And then we had our hero, the one who saved everything. Not the David that was pinged, another David, David Redondo, also from the KDE project, who said, hmm, actually, you just need one implementation if you want it to be in EXT. So he went and did it himself. I think there are two useful related but orthogonal concepts, allowing a drag to succeed, although it was not accepted by some other clients, so dragging a tab out of the window and forming a new window, or whatever the application wants to do with that drag, and then moving a window during the drag, so actually having it be attached to the cursor. Lock cursor seems a bit random and the motivation is not clear to me. The dragon client is in control of the cursor anyways, isn't it? As it says in the protocol, lock cursor might be used to keep the cursor shape locked during the extended drag session, regardless of the current mime type or the drag and drop action negotiation status. I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of this really was? Yeah. <laughs> I, I kind of understand the confusion here. The proposed protocol also has partial facilities for client exchanging surfaces, swallow slash unswallow. So basically, if you open up a application from a terminal, for example, you might want to hide the terminal when that application is being shown. That would be the window being swallowed. However, in this context, it's just a fancy way of saying snapping the tab in and out of the window. There are no events to deny a swallow request, and I can't see how allow swallow could be implemented. But also Chrome and Exo, the things that this protocol is coming from, weren't implementing it anyway, so <laughs> I don't think the developer even really knew what to do with it. I would propose starting somewhat simple and focusing on the two points that I identified at the beginning. The client that started the drag can decide if it wants to continue showing the window based on normal drag state. If its special mind type is accepted, if it supports dragging between multiple instances of the same program, or it is a single process anyway. This results in an overall smaller protocol without the offer part being needed. For the record, the partial implementations I did only implement the source and only the drag request. With this tab dragging in Chrome and Qt dock widgets, tiny windows you can attach as detach from the main window, dragging works perfectly already. And as of 10 months ago, this led to David making the new protocol. This protocol allows applications to request that a window is moved at the same time as a drag operation, effectively dragging windows. With this, features such as detaching a tab from a window and reattaching it, dragging tabs between windows or undockable tool windows can be implemented based on the previously proposed extended drag protocol, but trimmed down. So outside of just the Chromium implementation, this is how it would look in something like Qt. So Qt has a bunch of these dockable windows, and you can drag the dock and actually see the dock being dragged as you drag it. It's a crazy feature, I know. But it's here. At least, it's gonna be here. As a real-world example, here is the same thing in an actual application, that being color paint. So you can drag things like this dock up here, you can put it wherever you want it, you can redock it, you know, things that you would expect to be doable. Now, as I said earlier, you can already dock and undock these things, but now it acts like it should. Now start the process of actually getting it upstreamed. So the first issue is getting real world implementations. This was fairly easy to do as they were pretty much already done. So he already had an implementation available in Chromium. He was already doing the implementation in KDE and sending up patches to Qt 
And finally, David Edmondson stepped in to say, wearing my QC client hat and reviewing those patches, big plus one. The Dragable toolbars are a major Wayland showstopper for a number of our important clients. The fact this protocol is effectively proven in the real world in Chromium is also very encouraging. The real problem after this though, is getting what are known as acts. These are acknowledgements of the protocol, basically saying, hey, this desktop agrees that doing this is a good idea. The fact this protocol is effectively proven in the real world in Chromium is also very encouraging. And after two years of the old protocol and a couple of months of the new one, somebody finally realized, wait, Simon Sir from W Roots hasn't actually said anything here. Do you happen to have any thoughts? Do you think this is a good idea? To which he said, I don't have any interest on this personally. MRs are welcome. When I said I'm not personally interested, it's just a matter of the W Roots implementation work that I'm not able to perform. I believe this protocol belongs in the XDG namespace, not in EXT. Basically, a part of the core Wayland protocols, not an extension. And it seems like David was getting a tad annoyed considering that, you know, it's basically been a work in progress for the past three years and it's a feature that everybody thinks is a good idea. How can I move this forward? We are getting close to a feature freeze in QT for the version we expect the initial Plasma 6 release to ship with, and it's really important aspect that we want to fix in our Wayland session. The current state is broken and unusable for key applications. I wouldn't call it unusable, it's just a little less convenient. In a way that some straight up disable running on Wayland. I wouldn't be surprised if some devs do that because they just don't want to deal with the bug reports, I, but I, I just wouldn't call it unusable. Turns out it was kind of his fault because he already had a Kwin, QT, and Chromium implementation. He just forgot to add them to the implementations list, so nobody wanted to bring it to the next step yet. Over the next couple of months, there was some minor discussion being had, sort of trying to iron out the protocol, clear up documentation, clearing up spelling mistakes, things like that to make sure that, you know, the protocol can actually be used properly. And then about four months ago is when things really started to fall in place. Robert, the guy from Firefox, asked the GNOME side, hey, would you guys be interested in hacking this? Here's another ping another whole month later. <laughs> we still didn't get to it. Gnome took a bit of time to acknowledge this. However, Murr, you know, Murr, that project that you probably forgot existed. They actually are still around doing things. They were the first to hack it. Then with a comment from the budgie side, they didn't have act power, but they were still in favor of this happening. And then about two months ago, we got a comment from David Edmondson. Just saw it in writing, Ack from the KDE side. He was already technically acting it, it just wasn't officially there. Then comes an Ack from the QT side, and finally after that, we got an Ack from Gnome. With that, four Acks are in place. Then after a final review, it could be merged. There's not anything more to the story. That's basically it. The protocol got merged. There's no one that came in that said, Oh, last minute, this is terrible, let's not do this. No, the protocol is just part of Wayland now. Now, as it stands, there is currently not a GNOME implementation. That, I don't believe there's even an open issue about. On the W root side, there is this. Add support for XDG top level drag. As it stands, nothing has really been done here, so... It's probably going to take a bit of time for those sides to get it done. But on the KDE side, it's just going to be there. So this is going to be a feature in Plasma 6. It's probably just mainly going to be used by the QT applications because if it's not supported in GNOME, other things outside of that probably aren't going to be using it yet. But as soon as other desktops start getting this, the problem is just going to be resolved. Wouldn't it be nice if every Wayland protocol went like this? Yeah, it did take three years to happen, but it mainly took three years because people were working on other things. As soon as the discussion started happening, it just finished fairly quickly. As for protocols that don't go like that, here is a comment from Matthias Klump. You know, the guy working on the multi-window stuff and the window icon stuff. You know, protocols that have hundreds of comments of people arguing. 
Hooray! The XGG top level drag whaling protocol was just merged. For some applications, this is a massive improvement and makes these apps properly usable on Wayland. Thanks to everyone who made this happen. For once, I'm not being incredibly critical of the way that a protocol is handled. It's nice. Yeah, it's a tad annoying it took three years. But it's done now, and that's awesome. So, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think this is that big of a deal? Does it make sense why it took so long? I would love to know your thoughts. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you <coughs> really like the video, uh, if you want to become these basically <laughs> over here, check out the Patreon subscribe link, prepare link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me. And that was a horrendous outro. Yeah.